Hi there and welcome in my studio. You asked for it, so I made a video on it about a basic patch from scratch. I tried to make a very simple one so you can follow along easily and don't worry if you don't have the same modules as I do, you can easily replace them with modules from other manufacturers. So let's dive in! So this is my case that I will be using for this video. It has two rows. Usually I'm using four rows, but this should be enough for a basic patch. If you have a question, if anything is unclear, please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. So I usually start with a master clock. And for this task, I usually use my yarns module over here. It's from Mutable Instruments and it's a MIDI interface. You can configure those outputs to have different functions. And in my configuration, I know that the master clock is being output over here. So I will patch my master clock into my multiple first, just because I usually want the clock to be spread in my case to my sequences, to maybe modulate something or whatever comes to mind. So I think it's very handy to directly patch it into my multiple. So I have the same signal over here at those outputs as well. Now I can take this output and now I want to connect my main sequencer, the Hermod by Squab Instruments. Every sequencer, of course, works differently, but usually you can sync most of them to the master clock. That means that it will run when the master clock is running and that it will stop when the master clock isn't running anymore. So in this case, I can patch my master clock in my CV in. You have here four inputs at the Hermod sequencer and then I configured it here in my settings, clock in, clock out settings, that as soon as a signal arrives here at CVA in, that it should start running. And I already programmed a very basic melody as I don't want to get into the Hermod too much. The tempo over here is at 120. As you can see when I press the play button, it doesn't run on its own, so it waits for a signal to arrive over here. So when I press start at my yarns module, the Hermod will start running. I have over here my CV outputs for the melody and my gate outputs for the rhythmical information. What I will do first is patch my CV output one into my STO module over here that's an oscillator from Make Noise. And here is the one volt per octave input where it will read the information. So here at the STO module, you have three outputs, three waveform outputs on top. I usually take the sine wave output. It's my favorite one. So I will do that over here as well. So now I will patch into my mixer in the input one. And then I also have here my master knob, so I can hear what is put out here at my mix out. And this one is patched to my external Soundcraft mixer. So this is the melody that I programmed, nothing too exciting so far. And as you can hear, there are no breaks between the single notes. And that's the next step that we want to do. We want to listen to distinct notes with breaks in it. So I will take this cable and now I will patch the sine wave output into my low pass gate. I'm patching the audio output into the audio input over here. I love them by the way because they are so small and they sound good and just very handy to sneak them in somewhere in the case. So here's the input of my low pass gate, then I am taking the output, audio output, and I will plug it into my mixer again. But as you can hear, you can't hear the audio so far. So this low pass gate only opens when a CV signal is present here at this point. And the CV that I need, the trigger signal, is present over here. It is output at my Hermod sequencer. So I will patch this gate output from my melody that I programmed. 
And I forgot that the upper one doesn't work anymore, so you have two units here. Audio in, audio out, CV in. And the second unit, audio in, audio out, CV input. So I'll just repatch that quickly. As you can hear, every time a gate out is present here at track one out, you can see the same light over here, and only then you can hear the audio. So that's actually now for the basic patch that I prepared, but it still sounds a bit boring as usually when you start a patch. So I will take now the output from the low pass gate and patch in some effect modules in there. For starters, I would like to take the algorithm from the Harvestman or Industrial Electronics by now. That's a Wave Shaper and Bit Crusher module. And from here, patch it into the Mimeo phone from Make Noise. That's an audio delay and looper module. And from here, I'll take the output and patch it again into my mixer. So the effects are dry at the moment. I have to activate them. So this is the dry wet knob, this is totally wet, this is totally dry and here is a mixture of both. And suddenly it's way more interesting in my ears at least. Now for my ears, I'm having a sound that I could record into my multi-tracker, into my DAW and then maybe start a new patch from scratch or just add here in the case different modules like the plonk, like Pico drums from Erica synths or patch some modules from my other case, maybe drums or include some other hardware like my beloved Coco Quantas or the OP1. So, but I like this sound very much and I'll record this now and see what I can do with it. So I hope you liked this little explanation, this patch from scratch. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See ya!